Coalition, a coalition of civil society organizations and Nigerian women farmers of Kovan government at all levels to initiate a strong strategy in ending all forms of violence against women and girls within agricultural value chain as a pathway to a sustainable food security in the country. The groups made the call at a roundtable meeting to commemorate the 16 days activism against gender-based violence in Abuja with the theme, Unite Activism to End Violence Against Women and Girls. Correspondent Linda Ike completes the story. Agribusiness is a driving force of economic growth, food security, health, employment and exports in many developing countries. Globally, Agricultural workers contribute one billion or one third of the world's workforce, and women make up half of the workforce around the world, while some regions like sub saharan Africa records as high as 70%. In Nigeria, women account for 75 to 80% in farming population, working as casual workers, farm managers, and suppliers of labor. These women experience one form of violence, particularly discrimination in access to finance, inputs, information and training, and lands. In recent times, statistics reveals that there has been constant decrease of federal government funding for women in agribusiness. This encapsulates the income earned by women from the sector. Speakers at the event condemn the harassment women face in assessing their farmlands. They are seeking for lasting solutions to challenge cultural or social norms and interrogate the practice that form the underlying risk factors for violence, even as they say that if the situation continues, it would push more women into poverty, loss of ownership of farmland or assets, and demotivate their interest in farming activities. They also advocated increased budgetary allocation to women farmers in the 2023 budget across the tiers of government as a means of boosting women in agriculture, as well as allowing them to monitor and assess the budget by themselves. Over the years, in many develop con uh, developing countries, we find that probably due to pat patriarchy, religion, culture, you know, we have seen women on the farm. You find women at every point, from tilling the soil till everything gets to the table or to the end user, women are there. But even along this, with all what they are putting in, along this value chain, there are pockets of violence here and there, right from farm, at every stage, at every point. So they are restricted from access to credit facilities. So they go in to look for credit, they go in to look for loans, and you find out that the loans are shaped in a way that they, they, they no, no, a woman may not be able to meet all the conditionalities required around it. So you have agricultural resources. So some of these things violate, you know, some of these things are violations that women experience as farmers, and these things also discourage women within the agricultural sector. We call on the government the National Assembly, the State Assemblies, to continue to do something for the women, knowing that we are the majority and we are also the main farmers. Also, in the area of technology, we believe that technology should be designed and it should be women-friendly. We don't want technologies that will not that will exclude women. We want technology that includes us, that takes us of our concerns, that we can use without any challenge, so that we can also be at par with our colleagues in other developed countries. The women farmers, however, narrate how the challenges they faced in assessing their farms, especially in the federal capital territory, Abuja. And another challenge here is the issue of insecurity when I'll be in my farm farming and a Fulani header will come and wants to eat, want to, want to feed his cattle, want to feed from the farm produce, which I'll be like, ah, why would you do that? It belongs to me, it's not yours, why would you do that? And he'll be challenging me, bring out cutlasses, telling me he's going to, I'll even stab you with this knife, I'll cut you with this, I'll do this, I can even rape you as young as you, I look at the way you look, and you, want to, you, you still want to farm. Economic violence against women and girls not only affects their well-being, but have a devastating effect on society at large. Linda Ike, MITV News, Abuja.